So at her press conference earlier today, Biden press secretary Jen Psaki threw some absolute shade at Donald Trump because he's not working as hard as other presidents to promote the COVID vaccine. I want to see Trump get involved in this messaging. Well, if, if former President Trump woke up tomorrow and wanted to be more vocal about the sa safety and efficacy of the campaign, uh, of, the, of the vaccine, certainly we'd support that. Uh, but uh, also, I think what's important to note is that, as I noted, 81% of Republicans said they would trust their own doctor or health care provider, and that's an important place to invest. Every other living former president, or most of them, if not all of them, has participated in public campaigns. They did not need an engraved invitation to do so. So he may decide he should do that. If so, great. But there are a lot of different ways to engage, to reach out, to ensure that people of a range of political support and backing uh, know the vaccine is safe and, and, and uh, uh, safe and effective. Go ahead, Amish. Thanks so much. And so as you can see there, the journalist is saying, you know, would it not be great if former President Trump, the most recent president, still beloved by Republicans at least, would come out and, you know, publicly promote the importance of everyone as soon as they are eligible getting the vaccine. And Saki says, yeah, sure, that, that would be great. We'd love to see it, but we're not going to beg him. We're not going to beg this man, you know, on our knees, begging and pleading Donald Trump to do a basically decent human thing. That's not our job. You know, she says there basically all the former presidents, well, almost all of them, wink, wink, you know, did an ad. I talked about that ad where, you know, Jimmy Carter and his wife and Bill Clinton and his wife and Barack Obama and his wife and George Bush and his wife, they all did an ad together talking about how they've gotten it or will be getting it and how it's important and how it's no big deal. It's not, you know, risky or anything. And it's made them safer and it'll make you safer. And they talked about looking forward to all the things they wanted to do. You know, Republican President Bush said, you know, I can't wait to get back to baseball games. You know, go watch the Texas Rangers play. It was a really nice, frankly, wholesome ad that literally no one should be offended by. And Donald Trump and Melania Trump, they were missing. There was no one from the Trump era Republican Party in that ad. Trump does not need to be begged or should not need to be begged to be involved. You know, Saki is right. It is not Biden's responsibility to grovel to Trump to do his job. Now, let's be clear, though. One thing I sort of disagree with Saki here is that she thinks it's not as important as I think it is. She notes here that according to some polling, people trust their doctors, right? People trust their medical professionals. And so if 81% of Republicans trust their doctors and their doctors are doing their jobs, many Republicans will get the vaccination. But the problem with that is other polling indicates as many as about half of Republican men in particular, a lot of people who maybe really identify with Trump, Republican men love Trump, Republican women less so, it's one of the reasons Biden won, but Republican men love Trump. And they're, they're hesitant right now. And so I'm, I'm of the mindset that Donald Trump has a real deal responsibility to come out with a statement, a full-fledged one, which I know the media will air. I know that, you know, maybe some people are reluctant to give Trump full press coverage, but he needs to come out and actually address the issue. This is a good thing. You should all be excited for it. I'm excited for you. Let's get back to normal. And, and frankly, Donald Trump could use this as a moment to brag. Whether you think he deserves it or not, like Trump needs to seize on this moment for ego. If he, he could do that if he wants, right? He could say, I'm the greatest president. It's because of me that you all have this wonderful medical invention. You know, it's because of me. So do your part in supporting me, Donald Trump, and, and, and get this thing and then thank me once you do. And I guarantee you that'll drive some Trumpers to do it. This is a time for Trump to hold up his responsibility. If you have any faith in you in Donald Trump at all, if even the bar as as microscopically low, nanoscopically low to the ground as it could be, even I have some hope, maybe, that he could just put out a two-minute video with him and Melania 
about why this is good. Do it, Donald. You don't need to be begged for it. It could save your own supporters' lives. I know you really don't care about them all that much, but maybe care a little.